<laughs> now, what do you think the Caribbean and Cornwall have in common? The beaches, maybe? Fishing, perhaps? Well, a representative from the Caribbean is in the county looking for descendants of the first inhabitant of their island. It was the Cornishman who set foot on the Cayman Islands 363 years ago, and now the island's representative in the UK is seeking direct descendants of the man who was called Bodden or Borden. The islanders are hoping to promote business and cultural links with the county. Well, Spotlight's Cornwall reporter David George wishes we'd sent him to the Caribbean, but instead we sent him to Perrinporth. The Cayman Islands are a British overseas territory, south of Cuba and west of Jamaica. There are around 60,000 inhabitants and the first one in 1654 was apparently a Cornishman called Isaac Bodden, whose grandfather had gone to the Caribbean as part of Cromwell's army. What we're here to do essentially is to, is to start the dialogue and start the research uh, to see if we can actually find the individual who left Cornwall who went to the Caribbean and finally settled in the Cayman Islands. We took the Cayman Islands' top man in the UK to see one of our beaches. People are here on Easter break. They're enjoying the natural beauty of the sun, the sand and the sea. Uh, very much like Cayman where, you know, the, the Cornwall has a lot of natural beauty uh, and similar to Cayman. Time for some proper protocol, a gift of food for the visiting dignitary. It looks it looks very much like a big version of uh, what we call in Cayman a patty, um, which you, with, with your pastry and uh, some sort of meat or vegetable or potato uh, on the inside. Um, yeah, this is a, either a breakfast or a, or a lunch favourite for us back home. Some of these go back to the 1530s when they were first ordered to be kept. This is Cornwall's county records archive. Somewhere in here could be the details of Cayman's first inhabitant. Some of the parish registers for some of the Cornish parishes do not survive before much before 1700. But if it has survived, we will find it. I'll promise that. The hope is to set up a joint research project. Now, apparently some Cayman dialect words have links to Cornish ones, like directly. We do have a, a saying in Cayman called, come in directly. Oh. And that means soon come. Yes, well, that, that's so, very so similar. Say it again for us. It's coming directly. The one-man Cayman delegation will visit the Cornish Pirates rugby team and a brewery directly. David George, BBC Spotlight, Perrinporth. Actually, it looked pretty good in Perrinporth there, didn't it? Well, Roy Bodden is the president of the University of the Cayman Islands, and I asked him how obvious the connections with Cornwall are on the Cayman Islands themselves. Well, that's a good question because I, I don't think that there has been any kind of examination of, of, of the connection with Cornwall. Um, I know that, that many, many Caymanians trace their ancestry back to different places in the UK, but I don't think that any of them, certainly that I can recall previously, delve to any great extent into their ancestral connections. What do you hope will come out of this search that's now underway in Cornwall to find members of the family that were the, the founding family, if you like, of the Cayman Islands? Well, you know, I, I, I think that's good. I, I sense when I go to the archives, I see Caymanians there trying to trace their genealogical roots. They want to find out now who we really are. As I understand it, the first Borden was an old, an, old, an old man called Isaac Borden who settled in a place in East End named Old Isaacs after him. Supposedly these people were white. So now how do you get people like of my color being Bordens? Well, the simple explanation for that is that when these people came, they came with their slaves and the, the nature of slavery in the Cayman Islands, is, the nature of slavery probably in the Caribbean was, in many instances, the slaves took the names of their masters. So that's how come you have Bordens who are white, Bordens who are black, and all shades of the spectrum. Well, it's a fascinating link. I'm hoping one day I can come and visit you and explore the link between Cornwall and the Cayman Islands even more. In the meantime, it's been a real pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. It is so interesting. And if